Hello, I think we're going on video three for the day, but hey, the hustle does not end. So in the previous video, we created a pipeline layout which described the descriptor set which we're going to bind to our shader. Now it's probably a good time for me to talk about the compute shader that I'm going to be implementing. If we go into the shaders folder, there's this clear screen compute shader. I'll talk through it really briefly. So of course we'll specify the language version. That's totally fine. Um, this line here is specifying the number of, or the work group size. So the number of threads to execute per work group. So this is a linear job and we're executing it 64 threads per work group times, I guess, however many work groups the GPU will dispatch. We've got this color buffer. Now this is a storage image. It's bound, you know, binding zero within set zero. Yeah, we're gonna to write to it. So the job of this compute shader will be to write uh, numbers into the color buffer, which will then be copied onto the screen, onto the swap chain. So what I'm doing is I'm getting the threads position within the job. So if I had, let's say 200 pixels and it was on a 20 by 10 image, right? 220 by 10, this index would be some number from zero up to 199. So the next thing I would need to do is work out based on the pixel, the index, which position on the two dimensional screen is that. So what I'm doing is I'm just running down a vertical scan line, which means that my Y coordinate is the modulus of my index under the screen's Y dimension. And then if I divide, that's the quotient, every, you know, Y pixels, we go across to the next X value. I hope that makes sense. I've just got a check to see that we're not exceeding the screen size. If we are, then we'll early return, no problem. Um, I've got the pixel color, which should be like a pinky color, and I'm just storing that into the color buffer. Um, so this will be the end goal over the next few videos is getting the screen flushed out pink, basically. Um, but as to what I'm doing today, and that is actually making a compute shader. So what I'll do is I'll just copy the function that I've got now. Now this function is for making many shaders, um, but I don't want to do that. I just want to make one shader. So I'll do the usual expected refactor, which is just to return one shader. Um, and I'll just change the name. I'll say make compute shader. Um, this is all fine. But now in addition to this, my compute shader is going to have some sort of descriptor layout. In my case, it's just one, but you know, we could do this differently. Okay, so I'll just go over to the source file and I will grab, this is all fine. I can reuse the same code, but it's this make shader objects that I'll copy. For the most part, this will be just copy paste and change a few things. Here's the shader create info stuff. Um, now we can see that there are two things here. There's the flags and the next, sorry. Yeah, yeah, the next stage over here. So this link stage option was set when I was creating a vertex and fragment shader because I wanted to link those two together. But there isn't really a flag which is good for this. So. If we look at the flag options, dispatch base might be relevant for the compute shader, but I'm not dispatching with a base index or anything like that. So I don't need any flags. And similarly, shader stage flag bits, next stage. Well, the compute shader doesn't have a next stage. It just sits by itself. So we don't need to set a next stage. Okay, so here I'll just set the file extension to comp because we are doing a compute shader. Um, and I'll also specify the shader type. Just like that. All this language standard stuff, I think is fine. I can leave that. I'm just gonna change this from vertex code to source code, which I'll then propagate that down here. Okay. Um, let's call this shader info. And also I'll set the stage for the shader to be the compute stage. 
Otherwise, this is fine. Um, of course, I'll get rid of this stuff because this is making the fragment shader module. We don't need that. Okay, so I do not need to wrap this up, but I will. Um, what am I doing? I'll make a result variable. Okay, so there's a few options here. There's the no, 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 no. Or maybe that would be fine, actually. Uh, no, I changed my mind. I'm talking to myself. I shouldn't do this. Okay, so there's this version which takes an array proxy and that'll accept like a vector or something. But I'm just going to go with the explicit version where I specify both a pointer and the number of things. So I'm going to have one create info. And for that create info, I'll put in the shader and then I'll have the allocator, which will be nothing. And then the shaders, which will be populated. And then finally the dispatch loader, which because I'm using the shader object extension that needs to be dynamically dispatched. So now in order to bake in that destructor function, I'll get the handle. So we'll have the handle, which will be initialized with that shader. And then the interesting thing here is this actually returns a Vulkan result, not a wrapped thing. So we can just directly test like that. Uh, successfully made, I'll say compute shader. And then I can get that stuff out of the way. Okay, so now I'll push on my destructor. So for the capture list, I'll take in the logger, the handle and the loader. I'll need that to delete. Um, so then I'll just delete the handle and then I will also log out that it was deleted. Okay, return the shader. No worries. So I'll just go back to my renderer and in my renderer, I've already got somewhere here. Yeah, a single shader. So I'll just populate that. So I'll go to the source file. Yeah, and I'm not going to have a triangle mesh anymore. Okay, so I'll go ahead and make this shader. That should be fine. Let's give that a go. Just as this loads, I notice it's not going to work. Can you guess why? Okay, so I'm not sure what that error meant, but I'm noticing that I have put in the wrong, where am I? The wrong file name. That should be clear screen. Rookie error, I guess. Okay, so it says here that we've successfully made the compute shader, but there's something very interesting. So if we were to look more carefully into this as part of the regular compilation, you know, it spits out the code and then it also spits out the assembly, no worries, but then it spits out this validation error. And it says something along the lines of, hey, um, Spear V validation produced an error. And it says we can only have a storage class of input or output, but there's this, basically it's complaining about the, the bound descriptor. Um, so I actually, went back and forth on this quite a lot. I found it very frustrating, but basically with shader C runtime compilation, it seems like anytime I put a uniform in there, even if I describe the uniform accurately with descriptor set layouts, it just doesn't like it. And I thought I was losing it for a second, but I looked online and apparently shader C, this is just like a, a common shortcoming that it has. And I have verified that the compute shader does work correctly, even though this error has been spat out. And this is all to say, I'm going to leave things as they are. Um, if I close this down, just verify everything's deleted. Yeah, nicely. Okay, cool. So that will be it for this video. Hey, so I was about to edit this video, but then I remembered I've got new Patreon supporters. So really big thank you to all of my channel supporters. Um, if you would like to support me, it's just $2.50 a month, but um, if you'd like to give more, I won't say no. So without further ado, a really big thank you to Antonin Caret, Dank Your Falls, Declan, Andalon Studios, Catania, 
Gary Duchesne, Jean Falsvilla, Lane Duhit, Mathieu de Rick, and Moim. Thank you so much, my dudes. Making high quality videos takes time, and I guess it takes even less time when I go on random tangents and deep dives, but thank you so much. It really does mean a lot. I know I just complained about a Mandarin Americano, but having that little extra bit to uh, buy coffee, it really does make a difference. I'm looking so tired at the moment. Ah, okay. But thank you, really, truly. Um, it means a lot. Um, I hope things are going well, and yeah, have a good one. Bye.